Aurora police say they're concerned, frustrated and just worn out after a series of shootings involving teenagers. In the past two weeks, 15 young people have been shot and one killed. The latest shooting happened early yesterday morning. Aurora police say five young men were shot early yesterday near Dayton and Colfax. There was a large party emptying out when police got there. It's the latest in a series of shootings in the city. Last Wednesday, police say a 17 year old was killed on South Addison Way during a shootout with a former Greenwood Village police officer. The Friday before, three teens were shot in the parking lot of Hinkley High School. And two weeks ago today, six teens were shot at Nome Park, just across the street from Aurora Central High School. Aurora's police deputy police chief is urging parents to do what they can to help them stop the violence. You have, you know, better eyes and ears as far as what your kids are doing than we do. We can't, we're not with, you know, these kids all the time. And the parents likely are spending more time with them and have the ability to do things like have conversations with them, look in their rooms, look in their cars, figure out who their friends are, you know, and, and just do the things that we just don't have the resources to do. Aurora police say they have arrested two 15 year olds in the Nome Park shooting and three 16 year olds in the shooting outside Hinkley High School. No arrests have been made in the most recent shooting that happened early yesterday. Those violent incidents have prompted Aurora Public Schools to close all the high school campuses at lunchtime, just as a precaution. As 9 News reporter Nelson Garcia shows us, the mission with this is to keep students safe, but the question is, is it gonna work? Outside of Hinkley High School, we're supposed to see more police cars. Outside of Aurora Central, we're supposed to see more campus security. And what we've seen are incidences of violence that have happened outside and, and what we've had are open campuses where kids are allowed to leave. Superintendent Ricoman says what we're not supposed to see are students leaving campus. Uh, we want to make sure we take precautions and not overreact, but I think our students and our families understand that. After recent shootings outside of Central and Hinkley High Schools and a separate shooting this past weekend, Munn has decided to close campuses at all seven high schools in Aurora Public Schools. All students can receive a free lunch, creating a significant increase in demand and a change in overall operations. At each building, there's an individualized plan around how they will address some things around school lunches, uh, around making sure that we've got the right uh, supervision across the building. But we did see students outside during lunch and other periods. Students like Leonardo Rodriguez. I mean, for the most part, I get it. It's like keeping us safe, but like, we need like time to be outside, like we're kids. Like we need time to enjoy, like being stuck in school all day is hard. Leonardo and his friends are out walking around to enjoy the sunshine, even though they were questioned by security. They were like asking kids if they had a class or not, or like where we're we going if we were done for the day. Kind of had to just lie to get out to school. Mun says this is just day one of a major change that will be in place till the start of winter break. We're not trying to run prisons, right? We're not trying to, uh, you know, tackle kids. We're trying to make sure they understand the rules just like any other rule in school. Keeping us, everybody inside, I feel like it just like creates more, more tension with two people. Mun just wants to keep them safe. We think that this initial step is a relatively small precaution to put in place that we can then evaluate and figure out what next steps are. And figure out if campuses will still be closed after winter break. Annoyed. I feel like I was. I, I like. I heard students keep saying, "Oh, well, I'm still gonna try to find a way to leave either way." In Aurora, Nelson Garcia, Nine News.